Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a fun, cozy, chatty video talking about our honeymoon plans and packing. I've got my little reindeer mug and some coffee and just apologies in advance because I am sick. So I'm probably gonna sound very like nasally congested. I'm sure you can tell already. I do not have COVID. Disclaimer, thank God. I thought I did. I started feeling sick, gosh, two days ago, and Justin was also not feeling great. We tested, we're negative. I don't think we have the flu either. He's like pretty much back to normal. I'm just still very congested, sore throat, my head hurts, just fatigue, but I feel so much better today than I felt the past two days. Like I have more energy, more of my systemic symptoms, like aches, chills, all of that are pretty much gone. So feeling better, but definitely still having like the upper respiratory symptoms. So you probably can hear that. So apologies for that, but you're still gonna have a nice cozy chatty video today. My Instagram stories, I asked you guys a video you wanted for today and overwhelmingly y'all wanted the honeymoon pack and prep video, which is kind of what I was already planning to film today. So that worked out very conveniently. My goodness, also with being sick right now, I can't talk as fast as I normally do. So it forces me to slow down, which is nice because I'm getting out of breath when I talk too fast. So bear with me please. Some little life updates first. We are officially in single digits before the wedding. We are getting married in nine days. And if you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Emily. I am about to marry my best friend, Justin, and we're getting married on New Year's Eve, which is actually gonna be our one year anniversary because we met on Hinge last year and had our first date on New Year's Eve. So very full circle, very sweet. We're super excited. And I honestly just can't believe we have been engaged for almost six months now and we are almost to wedding week. Once Christmas is over, we officially be in wedding week. So it's just like truly crazy and we're so excited and we're still stressed about some things like we have some more little to do doing his final tucks like fitting so they can hem it today and i have some like last minute bills to pay and like little tiny things to get done but overall we're pretty set to go with all wedding things i think at this point it's just more really nerves that we're gonna forget something than being stressed about the wedding itself like we're genuinely really excited at this point which is really sweet because it definitely has been stressful the past few months as we've gotten closer and closer but so close and we have christmas before then so so we're trying to remember that Christmas is like even happening because we've been in such a New Year's focused mindset for so long that we kind of keep forgetting about Christmas, which is sad. But anyways, it makes sense for this year with planning a wedding and all the things. So this weekend, our plans are just to have like a really cozy, fun Christmassy weekend. We have all these fun date ideas, get over sickness, hopefully. I'll just say Christmas Eve vlogs will be coming next week before the wedding and then after that so much wedding content, all the behind the scenes thing, what we learned in engagement, week of the wedding, day of the wedding vlogs, all the things. Super pumped for that. But today we are going to be talking about the honeymoon. So layout for this video because this intro is now super long is I'm going to talk about the honeymoon first like where we're going I'm not going to share what country we're going to just for like safety privacy reasons because I don't know I just like get paranoid about that stuff so I'll tell you guys like what area we're going to kind of what our plan is for the honeymoon how long we'll be there what we're going to do all of that and then we will get into like actual packing kind of how I prep for trips show you the outfits I'm gonna wear I got a newly order I'm super excited about it and yeah, just kind of like prep stuff in general. I'm not gonna be like actually packing. I think I'll like do a test run of packing my suitcase today for the video and I'll like actually pack as we get closer to the wedding but I wanted this video to go up today. So, and of course like I'll be getting my nails done and like all the like prep stuff for a trip but that's gonna be next week. So I'm just gonna like talk about that stuff for this video. So hopefully you stick around and watch the video. I will do my best to timestamp stuff below. I usually do that for most of my videos but if I run out of time or I just am not feeling like it, I don't do it. But for this one, I think I will. So. Enjoy, find the part that you wanna watch below. But if you're a real fan, you'll watch the whole video and you'll wait to the end because I usually either do a poppy pause halfway through where we talk about random stuff and or I will do a secret emoji at the end of the video. So if you watch to the end, you will see the secret emoji pop up somewhere and you can comment it below and that will let me know that you're a true fan and you actually watched my whole video and I love you for that. So let's get into it. All right, so for honeymoon details, Justin and I are going to the Caribbean and we're super excited about it. We originally were wanting to go to Europe or Hawaii or somewhere like that, but just with the time of year getting married on New Year's and then honeymooning in early January, we one, didn't want to be in a super cold place, so Europe was off our minds. And then with Hawaii or anywhere kind of in that direction, the flight time and the time difference just wasn't worth it to us because we knew we were going to be gone for only a week or so. And in my mind, to do Hawaii well, you need to be gone for like a week and a half, two weeks to really get adjusted to the time difference and like soak up your time there and enjoy it. So, to be 
in the same time zone, which is gonna be super convenient for just getting adjusted and everything. The island that we're going to is actually a place I have been to before. I went there with one of my bridesmaids on just a little girls trip where I met Justin. And we actually stumbled upon the resort that Justin and I are gonna be staying at. So it's such a funny story. Like my friend and I were just going to different beaches and we went to this beach that became our favorite beach. And it was so beautiful. We were watching the sunset and we were like, oh, you know what? Like, let's go get a pina colada. Emily's never had one before. And so we walked onto this property that we didn't realize was this like beautiful, it's only all-inclusive resort. And so we go up there and we find a bar and we ask the bartender for a pina colada. And he's like, oh, are you guys guests at the resort? We said no, but you know, we just want to buy a drink. Is that fine? And he's like, yeah, no big deal. We get a drink from this resort and I take it to the beach and I go have my first pina colada and it was amazing. And little did I know that that would be the resort that my future husband and I would be honeymooning at just a couple years later. So it's so full circle and funny. And I just think it's hilarious that I was actually on the property that we're gonna be staying at. So we get married New Year's Eve. We're actually gonna be staying in a hotel in Raleigh for the first two nights after our wedding, which is gonna be so, so nice. We knew we didn't wanna just jump straight to getting on a flight the next morning. And because our wedding ends after midnight, cause it's New Year's Eve, we're doing like a whole New Year's countdown thing. We are gonna get to the hotel at what, like one in the morning and then we'll have that whole next day and then we'll leave the day after that for the honeymoon and then we're gonna be there for over a week. So it's gonna be a very nice, like long honeymoon. So really for like the first two weeks of January, we are just gonna be out for the count. One of my favorite things that we're doing for the honeymoon, or really my favorite thing I'll have to say, is we are gonna be turning our phones completely off, which we know it's gonna be the most amazing experience. Like highly recommend. I'll have to report back when we get back like how it was. But we decided this pretty early on that we wanted to have a super unplugged honeymoon and that was gonna be a huge priority for us. We wanted to still have our phones on us for the nights that we're in the hotel in Raleigh and then, but obviously like, put them aside, just be really present with each other, but like still respond to texts, get all the pictures, videos, all the things, have our phones while we're traveling. And then once we get to our resort, we're gonna just turn them off completely. Like tell our parents that we got there safely, all the things, and make sure that our immediate families have the hotel information in case there's an emergency that they need to call us for, which we're still figuring out like what constitutes an emergency for us to like disrupt our honeymoon. So be totally off the grid. Our resort doesn't have any TVs or anything like that in the individual suites where we're staying. So it's gonna be just really, relaxing and hopefully we can just be super present and enjoy and just rest a lot. Our resort itself, which I can't wait to tell you guys about it later, but again, safety reasons, not gonna tell you where we're going. I'll just give you like some general overview. It is adults only, all inclusive, and we're gonna be staying in these little villas on this hillside. And so we have a private villa with our own bed, our own bathroom, our own plunge pool and a whole balcony area. It's gonna be so nice. It's very private, very away from the other villas, like just very individual and romantic and just so, so lovely. The weather's supposed to be amazing early January. It's gonna be like 80s where we're going, just super nice and sunny. And I wanna be there right now so badly. Some things we're doing on our honeymoon, besides, you know, the obvious. Um, we do have some activities planned. We are gonna get massages one day. We're doing a sunset dinner one night. We have a hobby cat tour, which I think is a type of like sailboat. Let me pull up my calendar real quick and I'll tell you like the exact activities we're doing. Our big thing with the honeymoon is we didn't wanna to plan too much stuff because again, we're gonna be so exhausted from the wedding weekend, travel, intimacy, like all the things. You guys know if you've watched our sit down videos talking about boundaries and stuff, we are waiting to have sex until we're married. And so figuring that all out together is gonna be like super special and sweet and take a lot of time and energy. So we didn't want to plan too much for the honeymoon, so. There you go. Okay, let's see. Yes, so we, our resort had us like book any extra things that we wanted pretty early and we had to give them specific time. So like literally our first day when we get there, I have fruit platters delivered at 5 p.m. So I just think that's funny that we already know like the exact times things are gonna happen, but I guess you have to reserve it in that way. We're also getting truffles and a rum flight delivered one day. Neither of us drink that much and Justin really doesn't drink at all. I have a drink like once or twice a month. And so getting a rum flight is gonna be funny. We'll have like two sips of it. But anyways, I'm getting Swedish massages one day, like couples massages, which will be so nice. Breakfast in bed one day. A sunset cabana rental so we'll just lounge around in this cabana by the pool around sunset time and if y'all know me i'm obsessed with sunsets like completely obsessed so lying on a nice day bed in the caribbean watching the sunset is honestly i cannot think of anything i'd rather do 
Another day is that hobby cat tour, which I think again is a sailboat. Let me know. One day we're getting a floating breakfast, which I'm super pumped about. Oh my gosh, I forgot about all this. I'm so excited now. We booked this months ago and I haven't looked at these reservations in a long time. So wow, I'm pumped um, because we have that little punch pool in our villa offer having meals on a floating tray in your pool. So it's kind of like a breakfast in bed situation, but it's obviously more expensive and fancier because it's on this floating tray or float or whatever in your punch pools. You could go get in your punch pool in the morning and they'll bring you breakfast into the pool, which is so, so cool. I think this resort's kind of known for that. So I'm pumped about that. Another day we're doing a sunset dinner. That's actually our last night there is a private sunset dinner on the beach. So super, super excited. I guess we have something every day now that I look at it. Oh, that'll be wonderful. And then besides those things we have reserved, just like general activities and stuff. Again, we're not really planning stuff beyond what we have reserved just because we don't really know in the moment what we're going to be wanting to do. I'm going to leave it like very flexible, lots of free time. We're planning to just like sleep in every morning and not have any alarm. We're obviously turning our phones off so we won't have access to an alarm or anything. Maybe the resort will have them in the room. Honestly, not sure. We're just going to like wake up when we feel like it, go to bed when we feel like it, eat when we feel like it, all of that. We are probably going to try to do a lot of like swimming and snorkeling, lounging by the beach. We're going to bring some books, probably read, just like hang out, go on walks, talk, pictures, all of that. Oh, important thing. I'm not going to be vlogging the honeymoon at all. I really thought about it and I was like, oh, it would be such a beautiful vlog, but just for privacy and being able to focus on being together and being married and just like enjoying each other, we decided we're not going to vlog the honeymoon. So sorry about that. Tears. I am going to be taking lots of pictures on my camera that I always film on and getting little like video clips here and there and so it's not going to be a true vlog but I'll probably like make a reel or a short or something out of little video clips so still we'll have content to share but not like a formal vlog just because we wanted to focus on being together but yeah no real big adventures planned for this trip Justin has this theory of travel where he was like there's a big difference between travel and vacation and travel is where you're going to a new place and you're exploring you're kind of going all out you're doing the adventurous active things and you're really trying to learn about the culture and just immerse yourself and vacation is like you are resting you're being catered to you're relaxing the purpose is not to go explore the island and learn about the culture it's like i lean more towards wanting to travel but every now and then you need a true vacation and i totally agree with that i think it's really important when you're going to a new place to really learn about the history and the culture and do all of those immersive of experiences but especially since I've already been to this island before and I know more of that stuff from having done more of a travel trip before I feel less like ethically guilty if that makes sense going to a place and like not doing the immersive experience and kind of just being catered to it's also our honeymoon and this is the time in your life when you're supposed to be on vacation so the super moral piece of me is like it's fine if we're not doing these like historical tours and stuff yeah super excited to just like be on vacation and chill okay i think that's enough of me talking let's go ahead and start talking about outfits and get into the actual packing we're gonna be there for goodness eight nights and how I think about packing and everything is I like to have two outfits a day, which is totally overpacking. I'm a chronic overpacker. I will fully admit that right now. I like to have a casual outfit and a dressy outfit for each day. So especially with the honeymoon, I want to look super cute, right? So I have got eight dresses or like dressier outfits and then eight outfits that are more casual, like jean shorts and a cute top kind of thing, skirts, all of that. And then I have four swimsuits that I'm bringing. I don't own that many swimsuits. So I'm just going to wear them each like twice. And I actually didn't buy anything for this trip. I rented a newly order, which was $100 to get like these six different dresses. It's pretty pricey for only six items, but you get to keep it for a month. And if you're someone like me that is totally a spender over a saver, and you kind of struggle with overspending and buying things, a really helpful subscription to just kind of satisfy that piece of you that wants to buy something, but you're doing it in a more sustainable way, environmentally and financially sustainable. It's really fun. You get to pick out your outfits and you get to keep them for a month. And if you were going to buy, you know, a bunch of clothes for your honeymoon, it'd probably be over $100 and so I'm technically saving money in my opinion. So that's my justification for Newly, but I will show you guys all those outfits and we'll go ahead and get the suitcase ready. I just put my suitcase on my bed and I like to put a towel beneath it just because I don't want any dirt from the suitcase getting on my bed. This is the Away suitcase that I got for Christmas last year. I love it. It has different compartments. So this is the one that zips and I usually put like underwear, toiletries, shoes, things like that here. And then I put all my main clothes right here. And then this just straps over here and vice versa. And this can go over. I never really use this compartment, but I really should. 
I need to get one of those travel laundry bags, but I usually end up just getting a trash bag and putting it in here. I guess you could put like any documents. I should probably have a copy of my passport and stuff in here, but random extra compartment. And then on the front, this is so scuffed up. I need to try to clean that off if I can. But I love it, it's pink. It looks very grayish pink right now because it is very well loved. But no extra compartments outside, which is fine. And then I have a separate bag for my carry-on, but let's go ahead and start getting stuff out. all of my dresses and casual outfits and shoes and stuff and swimsuits. I'm obviously not going to show you guys like lingerie and all of those things because privacy, but I am bringing those items with me because it's a honeymoon, obviously. But I figured let's go ahead and just show you all the dresses that I got from Newly and then the other dresses I'm bringing and I'll try on the Newly ones for you. All right, so first up we have this dress. It is this really cute pinkish purple dress. Most of the dresses I got are just like fun, colorful sundresses, which felt very appropriate for a Caribbean beach honeymoon. It's very lightweight. It is just kind of like a triangle top, which thankfully, small boob life, don't have to wear a bra with this, which is super nice. And then in the back, it's really open. This, it still has a tag on it, which is interesting. And I, it's a rented item, so I feel like I should take the tag off. So I don't know, weird, but nice and open breezy for the Caribbean. Okay, so here is that first one I showed you guys. I think it has pockets. Oh, yes, it has pockets. But I think it's so cute. I love the top so much. Again, no bra life is the best life. It just fits me super well. It's really comfy. I feel like I could wear, actually, I don't think I could wear a swimsuit under this because the top situation, but this would be a really cute for just a nice dinner one night. Oh, it's so, so comfy. Big fan. The next one I have right here is, I think this one would be really great for a nice dinner, that sunset dinner we have on our last night of the trip. Cause it's very, I don't know, it just makes me think of the stars and the moon and everything. It's very shiny, so it's long, has these cool ruffles at the bottom. It dips down a lot up front. And again, being a small chested lady, we're gonna have to pin this or something so it's not, you know, all the way down. I had some friends who I told about this dress and they were like, oh, but it's your honeymoon, it's fine. I'm like, there's a difference between like sexy low neck for your honeymoon and then just like completely gaping open, doesn't fit you right, low neck, neckline. So, you know, don't want the latter. But it kind of looks like a night dress. I think she's cute though. Here is it up close, that fabric. Okay, this one has the wine that I mentioned is like super low cut, so I have to hold it so it doesn't drop down. But I just love the color and the fabric so much. It is a little itchy, but it's worth it for the vibes, right? Like for a nice sunset dinner. I don't know, it reminds me of like something Shakespearean almost. It's this fun, sparkly blue, kind of starry night nightgown. I don't know, I really like, I like the vibes, I'll be honest. But if anyone has any suggestions for how to pin this so this doesn't like drop down, I really just need, look at all that extra fabric. I can't get it altered because it's rented, but I guess I could kind of pin it like that. That might be kind of weird. I could tuck it behind or something. I don't know. I don't really own any like cardigans that I could put over it to hide the scrunching in the back if I do that. So if you're a fashion girly, give me your ideas, please. Okay. The next one is probably my least favorite just because it fits me a little weird, but it's still cute and I think I'm still gonna bring it. Okay, this is it. It's kind of this, you know, I don't know the right words to describe these clothes, but this is the dress. It's kind of a, I think it's a midi or like a high-low situation because it has an angle at the bottom, but that's the fabric, just really pretty blue colors. It's kind of scrunched in the back and it has these buttons. It just looks really comfortable and more of a casual one. Like I could wear this with my white sneakers for a fun little out and about dress. Okay, here is that one that I said wasn't my favorite, but it actually fits like a glove, honestly. I think it has pockets. No, no pockets, tears. But it's super cute. I can't really show you the bottom of it because of where my camera is, but I like this a lot. Again, I think wearing it with some white sneakers would be super cute. 
sunglasses, the whole Caribbean vacation vibes. Okay, the next ones are some of my favorites. I think the purple one I showed you first is my favorite, but I really like these next ones. This one is very similar to the purple one. It's another fun, kind of like triangle style sundress. It reminds me of the early 2000s for some reason. I'll show you why in a second. But it looks like this. You have these strings with these little pom-poms that you have to kind of tighten and play with, like a puppet or something, to get it to fit you right. And that just really reminds me of like a tank top from the early 2000s. And the little scrunched back. It's nice and flowy at the bottom. Here's the pattern. I really like this one. It takes a minute to get it situated up top, but it's really cute. Okay, once I figure out the strap situation with this, it makes it so much better. So this is that weird one I was saying reminds me of like an early 2000s look, but the little like the scrunching here, you have to adjust like this can go here, here. It really changes the whole look of the dress, but once you get it right, it's super comfy. It's very lightweight. I love the little pom-poms. They're really fun. The pattern's really cute. Big fan of this one. I wish I could wear outfits like this all the time, but you know, it's winter here, so sad times. Right, these next ones are so cute. I love this one so much. It is this like polo style dress. I think that's what it was called. Look how cute this is. Ah, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, the colors are so fun and summery. And ugh, it is so cozy and it's nice and thick too, even though it like has the little holes, so it's gonna be breezy. So if it ran like it's chilly, which it probably won't. It's supposed to be like 70s, 80s where we're going. It'll still be nice to have. But it's a shorter dress, which is fun because a lot of these are like long sundresses and it has this cute collar up top and then no buttons, which is actually kind of nice. But it's so soft. I wish you could feel it through the screen. I love this one. Okay, I think I lied earlier by saying that the purple one was my favorite because I think this is the favorite. I know it's kind of baggy and like as a petite person, maybe it swallows me, but I think it's so cute and fun. And I love the color block situation. Is this color block? I mean, maybe it's just more stripes. I don't know, but I just think it's so cute and just like the perfect Caribbean fun colors. I also think it could be really cute if you were going to like Italy in the summertime or something. It makes me think of like Cinque Terre or like Amalfi Coast kind of vibes. Sorry, I keep saying vibes. That's one of my words right now. But yeah, big fan of her. We'll also pair it with some white sneakers probably or some flip flops cute little gold sandals, something like that. Okay, and then last but not least for the newly dresses is this beautiful white sundress. Again, very similar style to the other ones I showed you with that kind of triangular tank top style top. It's so pretty. It actually has several layers to it, which I kind of like, but you have to have a white sundress on your honeymoon, am I right? And then it just zips in the back. This one is so pretty and it fits me so, so well. I tried on all of these right when I got the package because I was way too excited to wait for this video, but I will try them all on again for you guys right now. Okay, and last but not least for the newly dresses is this adorable white sundress because again, have to have something white on your honeymoon. I need to get this zipped fully in the back, but I think Justin will have to help with that. Super cute, again, loving the triangle kind of style. This does not have pockets. That's the only downside to a lot of these dresses is no pockets. The honeymoon, we don't need to have pockets for really anything. So we're not gonna be carrying a wallet because it's all inclusive and we've already paid for everything. Don't need a phone. Like I won't need to carry anything, which is so nice. Oh, it's gonna be wild. I feel like we're gonna come back from this digital detox and like never wanna use our phones again, which is interesting for someone who loves social media and like does social media as a hobby. So yeah, I'm really curious how we'll feel after a week without our phones, but anyways. Big fan of this dress, super cute. It's also making me realize like just how pale I am. I'm getting a spray tan next Friday before the wedding and I'm super excited about that, but I might do a self tanner in between just to like feel more like myself and not like a pasty sick girl. So this is the last family dress. Let me go ahead and show you guys my other dresses and like the casual outfit that I'm planning to pack. I'm not gonna try this on because your girl is tired and I don't really feel like it. Okay, hello guys. Let me show you the other outfits that I have picked out. So for other dresses, I've got this fun pink dress. I've had this for years. I'll insert pictures of me wearing these outfits so you can see what they look like. And I've got this dress. I actually bought this from a newly order that I got in May because I loved it so much. This is like one of Justin's favorite dresses of mine, which is really sweet. So I have to bring that. I have this skirt and top from Lulu's. This is color blocking. And it's super, super cute. Wear it with this little top. So it's like a little 
kind of set crop top situation. Okay, moving on, let me show you my casual outfits for the trip. This is one of my favorite outfits I own. It's super summery. It's from Petal and Pup, which is a little online, I think Australian boutique that I love. These little short with this top. It's just a nice striped button down. And then of course we have to have some jean shorts. I've got my Madewell jean shorts that I love. I think these are also Madewell. Yeah, I'm a big fan of like investing in good jeans because I've had these forever and they're amazing. And so some tops that I would wear with those would be like this really cute blue sweater. This pink blouse, which I love. The detailing is really pretty on it. This little pink button down. A lot of these clothes like really need to be steamed. So I am bringing a portable steamer. They will not look as wrinkly as they do right now. And then this cute navy striped shirt that I think I'll pair with the white jean short. And I have this little handkerchief. Is this an ascot? I don't really know what an ascot is, to be honest. I always thought it was like a handkerchief. Let me know what this is, but this would go around my neck like this. Very cute. Some other tops I have, I've got this blue one. It's another one of Justin's favorites. So trying to bring his favorite things too that he loves when I wear. Of course, just a nice white button down. I think it's, I think it's cotton and not linen. I think I have a white linen button down. I feel like linen is the perfect beach attire because our resort requires that you wear resort casual, which I feel like all of this is technically resort casual wear. Not really sure, but <laughs> it's poor Justin is like, I don't know what men's resort casual is. So we've been doing all this research and like getting him some clothes from Amazon. He's super excited because he found some really cute stuff. Trying to adhere to their dress code has been like not really stressful, but I feel like guys don't naturally keep resort casual wear versus like that's all I wear in the summertime as a girl so it's just been a fun adventure trying to figure that out together okay and then swimsuits so again like I said I didn't buy anything new for this trip I, I guess I technically did buy a white swimsuit for my bachelorette because that was like my bridal swimsuit and so I am going to bring that on the honeymoon but I didn't buy anything in particular like for the honeymoon I'm kind of proud of myself for doing this is my one piece from anthropology that I have had forever. I think I've had it for six or seven years and it was like $130, which is so expensive for a swimsuit in my opinion, but it's held up for seven years and it's like my favorite thing ever. So again, some more reason to invest in really good quality pieces that last a long time. So I love her. I will be bringing her. And then I've got this fun little blue swimsuit. I think it's from Amazon. I also totally just held that up the wrong way. It is kind of like a tankini. Or no, it's not a tankini, it's a tankinis. Oh my gosh, no, that's so early 2000s. It's a high-waisted bikini, which I love. So for the days when you're feeling like kind of bloated and all of that, it's perfect. This is like my go-to period swimsuit, you know, when you're on your period and you just feel kind of blah. And then this is the top, super cute. I love this scalloped look. And I think this color just looks really good on me, just with blue eyes. I think I naturally go towards like the pinks and blues because it just looks good with my skin tone and stuff. And then my favorite swimsuit is this hot pink one that I'm very excited to wear on a honeymoon because it's very fun. It comes with these bottoms. It's just, it's the swimsuit that makes you look tan, you know? Like you're gonna look tan in hot pink. So I love it. It like boosts my confidence. I just have so much fun wearing it. It's like such a fun, beachy swimsuit. It's like the perfect swimsuit in my opinion. Okay, and then obviously I'm gonna pack like pajamas, some workout clothes just in case, toiletries, all of that. You guys aren't gonna see that in this video just because I like still need that stuff in the next nine days before we leave. So I think I will do an outro to this video of just me packing this stuff up in the suitcase so you can kind of see how I envision putting it all together. And yeah, I will see you guys in next week's video on Tuesday. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and have so much fun with family and loved ones.